One out of six people are afraid of flying, some because of a fear of crashing, while the others just can't tolerate it, and often complain about the problems of flying. Therefore, today we'll show you what happens to your body when you're flying. Let's go. Number seven. Planes are usually small spaces and offer very little opportunity to move. In addition, your legs are bent most of the time. Especially on long flights, you may therefore experience swelling in the legs. In extreme cases, this can result in thrombosis, a clogging of blood vessels by a clot. To avoid this, try stretching in the aisle from time to time if need be. Number six. If you've ever had a craving for a piece of chocolate before a flight, it may be that you also might have a sudden, strong desire for tomato juice once you're in the air. In fact, this is very popular in planes. You can blame the area in the brain that is responsible for our tastes. These are more active for some reason during a flight than on the ground. Our desire for salt, sugar, and herbs are weaker on the ground. Hmm, very interesting. Number five, halitosis. Yep, you heard that right. Because the air in the plane is very dry, our body starts to dehydrate very quickly. In a three-hour flight, your body can lose up to 1.5 liters of water. This means, among other, less saliva forming in your mouth, which promotes the growth of bacteria. This creates bad breath. In order to prevent this, we should drink enough water and try our best to have a healthy meal while flying. Number four, sitting for long periods of time slows metabolism, and the change in air pressure can often affect the gases in our body. When the pressure decreases in the aircraft, the air expands in the abdomen and can escape in the form of bloating. In order to counteract this, you should avoid greasy or highly sugary meals before the flight. You can also work on this by doing what we'll talk about in number one, but before that, perhaps you already know this one. If you look around the plane, you can hardly imagine that you're moving through the air at hundreds of kilometers per hour. A glance out the window is no help either. The city underneath you appears to be moving in slow. And because what you see is not the actual movement in the body, it can be stressful to the mind and lead to headaches. The artificial light and the air conditioning on the plane make this even worse. Number two, after the Star Wars actress Carrie Fisher died of a heart attack on board of a plane, it made a lot of people fear the same. In fact, according to aviation expert Dr. Diego M. Garcia, hypertension and heart rhythm disorders can be aided by a lack of oxygen in the cabin air. If you have a healthy heart though, you don't need to worry about it. And finally, number one. The change in pressure in the aircraft affects not only the stomach and intestinal tract, but also our ears. You know exactly what it's like to get pressure on the ears. However, chewing gum can actually help you avoid the pressure changes, which can often cause temporary hearing impairment and even pain. Therefore, one should always have a drink of water or gum nearby. Okay, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're curious what might happen to you if you drink beer every day, why not click the video right there or subscribe for more. Until next time, bye-bye.